in modern society, we have this idea of skirting into heaven. And we're like, man, if I just get there, I'll be happy. The Bible acts as though that's not the case. The Bible acts as though that you'll still be in heaven. All that'll be true. But the realization that you wasted your life and your shot at something incredible in eternity, that realization will be a fate worse than death. I think here on earth in this time, the devil has veiled our minds to how incredible eternity could really be. Yeah. That you and I have, and the world in general, has this idea that if we just barely make it, well, we're still making it. Streets of gold, we're there. And it will be great. Yeah. But at the same time, you will miss out on what God truly desires for you. And I think that missing out, it's eternal. This life is temporary. And you, but you have one shot to live it. And if you go, man, I live for all the wrong things. You'll get to the end of your life. You'll get to heaven. You'll make it. But all your friends will go to hell. Yeah. Everybody knew. On top of that, there's reward. There's incredible things that God desires to be able to give you that he can't give you if you waste this life. And maybe you skirt into heaven and you made it. You're like, great. High five. You, you made it. But the Bible says that he will wipe away every tear. I mean, there's tears in heaven. And a lot of times I've taught even that those tears are there because your you know, friends have been, but you didn't tell whatever else they went to hell. And I think that's true. At the same time, I think it's also true that in that moment, there's going to be a lot of people who realize that, wow, you know what? I lived my whole life for things that didn't Don't amount matter. to anything, mm -hmm. that didn't matter. And now I forfeited all of this incredible opportunity that God wanted me to have, and I had opportunities to have it, I gave it all up, and I lived for things that I wanted.